Hello, welcome to today's data visualization class. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Python to create a Venn diagram. So what is a Venn diagram? According to our de definition, a Venn diagram is a graphic organizer that uses circles to show the relationship between two or more sets of items. So let me give you an example. I have two friends. One is a rich friend and the other one is a regular friend. <clears throat> Each of them process different items. The rich friend has orange, um, iPhone, Lambo, and Apple. And my regular friend, he or she has apple and a cake. So by creating the Venn diagram, I can find out what items they are in common and what items they are not in common. So this is our uh, results of this visualization. So we have two circles, right? The size of the circle represents how many items uh, a person would have. And they also have the, uh, the overlap. So from this chart, we can see that the overlap is apple. And each uh, side of these uh, circles represent the possessions that are owned by a certain friend, but not the other one. OK, so uh, we are going to learn how to create this Venn diagram by using Python. So let me create, uh, open a Google Colab. First, we're going to import some libraries. We're going to first import mapoly.pyplot as plot. And this is for our data visualization. And if we want to create a Venn diagram, we need another specific uh, library for Venn diagram. And that is uh, from matplotlib underline then import. Let's say I use Venn2. Okay, so I'm going to run this two. Uh, libraries let Python to remember what has the libraries they need okay so I'm gonna define my two friend so suppose my one uh, one friend name names a and he has uh, orange and 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 Apple What else? iPhone. And finally, it has a Lambo. That's pretty cool. And uh, this is a list. However, if you want to create a Venn diagram, this Venn diagram is uh, cre it should have created upon the sets. So if we have this list, we're going to transform that into a set data type. In order to do so, I'm going to use the set open parenthesis and close parenthesis and inside that uh, function we're going to pass our list so here it is an entire item set for friend a and let's say i have another friend b and uh, his regular friend so let's say uh, he has apple and he has a cake okay similarly we're going to transform that list to item of uh, the list of uh, the item of the list or the list of items but it's uh, about the set okay let's run this code so we have a and b and of course you can print a and b in here and you will see that this is a set of a and this is a uh, set for b Okay, that's it. That's uh, all the information I have to create the Venn diagram. Okay, next we're gonna use the library and uh, this, this one is Venn2. So Venn2 help us to create the Venn diagram. So Venn2, we're gonna directly use that and open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Inside of, of this function, we're gonna pass some argument first is subsets and this is a set that received 
uh, by Python, and then Python will automatically uh, visualize the Venn, di Venn diagram for us. So subsets we're gonna use two. What, which one? Uh, which is uh, which are A and B, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna also specify each uh, friend's name. So we're gonna use set labels. So if you uh, if you type set, it will automatically have all of these arguments. So we're gonna create this uh, set labels, and that equal to the two names of the friends. One is A, and the other one is B. And we're gonna put that into a list and pass through the set labels. And another one is, mm, Another argument is to specify the color. So we're going to use specific color to represent A and the other color represent B. So we're going to use set colors. Okay. And in the set of colors, we're going to pass a different uh, color for set A and B. So the order should be A and B because we always do so, right? A first, B second. So we're going to use sky blue. And the other one is, let's say, light green. Okay, so that's, I think that is all the argument you have to create the Venn diagram. Okay, let's visualize that. And we can use pot.show. Once I execute these two lines, and you will see that this is a Venn diagram. And the number here represents the how, uh, represent the number of items. We can see that there are three items belongs to A but not B and one item uh, represent what the item they share together and uh, the other side one represents the item uh, B has but not A. So this is the uh, fundamental of the Venn diagram. However, we want to we want to create this way. We want to uh, create the Venn diagram and the, the uh, I, I wish to have all the item list uh, name to, that is showing in this chart. How do I uh, update this? this chart. So in order to update the chart, I basically I want to replace those numbers with the items names such as the iPhone, I, I, Apple, Lambo, Orange, etc. So in order to do so, I'm going to copy this line and uh, I'm going to paste in here. However, I want to create a new variable called VENN and I use this entire line of code uh, to pass the result to VENN. Now then, VENN represents the entire graph of this Venn diagram. Now I can manipulate the VENN to let the numbers replaced by the item names. Okay, so this is how we, uh, this is the logic behind that. Okay, now we can manipulate the VENN to replace those names. First, we're gonna use VENN and there is a function that is get uh, label <clears throat> by ID. Okay, and so this is a function that help us to replace the uh, number to uh, replace number to the names. Okay, so here I'm gonna first type one zero. So let me explain what does this one zero mean. One zero means uh, a has but not B. So right now we have a two sets, right? And one is an indicator to a specific set, to a specific friend. Okay, if if the first uh, one is, uh, if the first one, it this is one, right? It represents A has but not B. Okay, let me let me show how to do that. And then after that, we're gonna set use set text. Okay, this is how we replace the number to the item names. And then we're going to use uh, here, we're going to use a comma and a blank space because uh, you can see from here that orange, after that orange, we have the comma and then the other item. So this is a separator for the item names. And now we're going to attach with join this join function represent what is the, uh, the items. 
and this is A minus B. So it they are correspondent uh, with this one zero and A minus B because both of them represent A has but not B. Okay, so that is uh, three the the uh, side the the uh, left side of this circle. And I'm going to give you another example to uh, reinforce the memory. And in this time, I'm going to change that to 0, 1. So we can guess that 0, 1 represents A, uh, uh, A, A doesn't have, but B has. Okay, So this is an uh, uh, indicator for A and B. So 0 represents A uh, doesn't have, but a z and 1 afterwards means that B has. Okay, now you can guess this is a, a B minus A because it is a, a B's a procession that only belongs to B but not A. Okay, we, and also we need the, the middle one, the overlapped one. Overlapped one represents both A and B have. Okay, so that is one and one. Right, this one one represents the um, middle session, and they both shared item, um, the overlapping item, and then you will see here drawing would be A and uh, B, right? Because that is the how we define the uh, the the relationship between different set A and B. Okay, now we can. Uh, replace the numbers to the text by indicate uh, what is the session of the uh, graph and what is the logic underlying this graph. Okay, so let me give it a title, uh, P-O-T-T-I-T-O-E, and uh, let's say a simple Venn diagram. And then pod dot show to have the results. Okay, now you can see uh, this is how we use the indicator to set the name of the uh, items, and this is a Venn diagram by using Python. I hope you you enjoy this uh, video, and I will see you next one.